Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about the relationship between the asset strength and their KA values. So what we are going to take a look at is what is KA and then how we use it to predict acid strength. So how KA is used. Alright, so let's proceed with the first question. What is Ka? To answer this question, we are going to take help of two concepts. One is from the Bronsted theory, which states that an acid is a substance that gives you H plus ions. So, you get something like this. And the reason that I have drawn double arrows is because this acid may or may not be strong. And the second concept that we are going to use is from equilibrium which states that for any reaction we have an equilibrium constant. So Ka is nothing but it is the equilibrium constant for dissociation of an acid. So, how do we write Ka for this equation? We write Ka equals to the concentration of H plus into the concentration of A minus divided by the concentration of HA. That is Ka is the equilibrium constant for acid dissociation. Now, if you look at this equation carefully, you will notice that if H plus is more then the value of Ka will be high. So we can write more H plus means large Ka. And what kind of an acid produces more H plus? Obviously if the acid is strong. So strong acid produces more H plus and therefore the Ka value is high. So now we can say that if the acid is strong, the Ka will be high and if the acid is weak, Ka will be low. So whenever you are asked to compare the Ka values of acids, all you need to see is which acid is stronger and which acid is weak. For example, if I take HCl and acetic acid. And let's say the Ka value of HCl is K1 and for acetic acid it is K2. Then we can easily write K1 is more than K2 because HCl is a stronger acid than acetic acid. What if an acid produces two H plus ions? For example, H2SO4. You can write its dissociation equations as H. 2SO4 gives H plus and HSO4 minus. Then this HSO4 minus ion will dissociate again and give you H plus and SO4 2 minus. So the dissociation of H2SO4 occurs in two steps. So what is its Ka value? It's very simple. It will have two values of Ka. One will be called Ka1 and the second will be called Ka2. Ka1 is the first dissociation constant and Ka2 is the second dissociation constant. And the overall dissociation constant for the dissociation of H2SO4 is simply the product of these two that is Ka1 into Ka2. Now that we understand the meaning of Ka, let's use it in some questions. So we have two acids over here. One is the acetic acid and another is its chloroderivative. And we need to find out which acid has the higher Ka value. We can see that B is a stronger acid than A due to the inductive effect. And therefore, the Ka value of B will be larger than the Ka value of A. It is as simple as that. 
In the next video, I will talk about the PK values. See you there. Bye.